there, Sunrise family. Welcome back to the Bridge Online, an awesome place for fifth and sixth graders to learn about God, have fun, and, you know, hang out online. <sighs> you know, sometimes it can be hard to hear what God wants to say to us. Do you have experience with that? Yes, sometimes. Like, I don't know what, what I should do, what, what, what I should do, what's right, what's wrong. Yeah, and you know, part of that is exercising that muscle, getting good at knowing what God has to say for us. We should practice hearing what God has to say. Let's dive in. Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey there, <laughs> I'm Caleb. And this is my Bible. At first glance, it might seem like 66 random books, but truth is, there's a master plan here. Every word is inspired by God. Dozens of writers wrote down the words of God's story over hundreds of years. How God created us and loves us so much, he made a way to rescue us, even when we turned our backs on him. These writers, were committed to sharing God's deep love for his people. And I have five stories right here to show us what true commitment can look like. We start off with a reminder from the Apostle Paul to the believers at the church in Corinth. In a race, all the runners run. All who take part in the games train hard to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. When it comes to faith, there are two things that matter most, loving God and loving others. And it takes training to put them into practice. Now we're headed back a few books to the first book of the New Testament, Matthew. Here, Jesus shares a story. Two guys both have amazing plans to build their new beachfront homes. But while one chooses to build his house on a sturdy rock, the other one picks out a nice sandy lot. The homes, they look spectacular, until a rough storm blows in. Then there's only one house that's ready for the blast. Let's page over two books to Luke. As usual, Jesus has set time aside to talk with God, but his closest followers are curious. They're like, we know it's important to pray, but how are we supposed to do it? Do they need three hours or a lot of fancy words? Right then and there, Jesus gives them a model. And spoiler alert, talking to God doesn't require thee and thou. <laughs> Back to Matthew now to check in with Jesus' friend, Peter. There's been a lot of talk about who Jesus really is. John the Baptist or Elijah, another prophet maybe? But Jesus turns the question back to his friends. Who do you say I am? And as usual, it's Peter who has the fire and guts to make a bold statement. We wrap up the month in the book of Mark. Here, Jesus and his friends are hanging out in the temple near the offering box. Lots of people put in handfuls of gold coins, but one widow puts in exactly two small pennies. Kind of cheap, huh? Except that Jesus claims she's given more than all the others. True commitment means choosing to follow God and putting that into practice in every area of your life. I sure can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.
are you still running? Why are you running so slowly? Is it me? It's him, right? I already won! And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Brandon, do you want to tell everyone out there what we're doing today? Sure. John is training me in the first and final annual blindfolded nose recorder three-legged race. So, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It Brandon and I are entered into a three-mile race tied together at three the leg, miles. blindfolded, uh, while playing the nose recorder. Yes, but I've never played the nose recorder before. Hey, no fear, my friend. I will be here to guide you every step along the way. Okay, why don't you give them a little taste of your musical prowess? Oh, well, I shall. There we are. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. All, right. all right, let's get started. All right, all right. First step, <clears throat> take your nose recorder and place it in your nostril. Okay. Mm. Okay, I got it. Now, what makes a nose recorder different than a normal recorder? It's played with your nose. Uh, Come on, focus. Okay. 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 Does that feel comfortable? Define comfortable. All right, I'll take that as a yes. Now, give it a nice big... Okay. Oh! No, no, okay, hold on. Put your fingers here, all right, just like that. Where, where? Yep, yep, like yep, that's that? right. Yeah, yeah, okay. go again, go again, go again. No, no, not there, not there, not there. You gotta cover the, there's a hole underneath with your thumb I, I and a hole on that. top. No, I got, no, 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 I got it. Listen. no, 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 that's what I'm... no, 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 no. It's like this. Even. No, 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 you're not, listen, just stop that, stop that. That's... What? What are you doing? I was getting it. No, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Uh, hey, Hans, welcome back, man. Okay, so uh, we know who he is, but just in case, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? Hello. Guten Tag. My name is Hans Decibel. I am the expert in all things auditory. Mm -hmm. Auditory? Yeah, this is correct. Auditory. With your ears. Yeah. Well, Hans, the reason I asked you here... Ha! Ear! Ha! Ha! Oh. <laughs> I hear what you did there. <laughs> Please continue. Oh, uh, yeah, the reason I asked you... Here! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, the reason I, uh, that you are at this place at this moment in time mm -hmm. is I'm trying to train Brandon for a race and he's not listening to me. So can you help me out with this? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. I understand your problem. I can help with this. To train the ears, one must do important listening exercises. Oh. I will train you now. Now, the first exercise will involve me saying a sentence, and you must repeat it after me. Oh, that sounds easy enough. While wearing headphones, playing white noise in your ears. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, wow. There are many distractions in our world. We must train our ears to hear through the noise. And yes, you at home can play as well. Listen carefully and see if you can hear what are the words I say. Headphones on! Oh, headphones on. This. They're good. Do you know what I said, Brand? I don't think so, but I'll try. I, a famous friend of spaghetti has spaghettos. <laughs> Nine. No. Jan? A famous chunk of spaghetti was found in the snow. Nine. Also wrong. 
The sentence first. A single strand of spaghetti is called spaghetto. Oh, oh. you were so close. I was. Nine, no. not close at all. For our next training exercise, I will play an audio recording of three completely different words being said at the exact same time. Oh, all right, bring it on. Let's do it. Headphones on. Okay. Please. Connected to that. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us begin. Don't just get here. No, can we? Yeah, can you play it again? Yeah, I can do this. Don't just get here. Uh, okay. Brad? I think it's basketball, spaceship, and uh, dinosaur. Nine. No. She's wrong. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's basketball, uh, learn to share, and... Nine. Okay. This is wrong. What do you think it was? I can't hear you. Louder? No, they don't. They, they, you won't. Nine, I can't hear you. The right answer was newspaper, rocking chair, oh. basketball. Oh, oh, we got one. That's hard. Your ears are still not trained. Mm. For our final exercise, we will need this. Okay. Here are the rules. I will show Jan a word. You will both step up to the aquarium. You will dunk your heads under the water. Jan will yell the word. To you. Uh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, Step up. Oh, right. oh, oh. Here is the word. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Was it sunscreen? Yeah! yeah! You are making progress, Brand. Did you get it too? Uh-huh. I can't hear you. Louder! I can't ever hear them. Okay. okay. So, the next word. Uh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> is it pineapple? Oh, uh -oh. nine. Wait, the it? answer is platypus. Oh, oh platypus. Okay. Yeah. That's a hard one. But good job on the first one. Thank you. Did you get that one? Platypus? I still can't hear something. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. The final clue. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. So good. Go! I know this one. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Huzzah! Hey, Kellen. Fellas! Got a story for us today? Sure do. One of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, wrote down a famous sermon Jesus gave that we know today as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, the Sermon on the Mount had a lot of famous quotes from Jesus. Things like, you are the light of the world, love your enemies, and when you give, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. At the end of the sermon, Jesus told a story about a wise builder and a foolish builder. And here to help me tell the story are my friends, Becky and Bethilda. After his sermon, Jesus said, So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise builder. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's really good, too. Okay, this, is, this is a really good house. Where should I build it? Let's see. Mm, I can't really see the ground, so yeah. Sand. Well, 
That'll never work. Perfect! Okay. So the person who hears what Jesus says and does what Jesus says is like a wise builder who builds their house on the rock. Then there's the foolish builder. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, this is a good house. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Now, where should I build it? Nope. Too many trees. Too rocky. Hmm. This is nice. Take a look at this perfect beachfront property where you can build your next dream house, complete with views of the ocean on three sides. Why hasn't anyone built here before? We don't know, but their loss is your gain. Get it today for half price. Half price? Is there something wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. Would I lie? So Jesus said, the person who hears what he says, then doesn't do what he says, is like a foolish builder who builds their house on the sand. Both kinds of builders know how to build their houses, but what matters is the foundation. Because Jesus said, when the rain comes down, when the water rises, and then winds blow and beat against the houses, the house built on the sand will fall with a loud crash. But the house built on the rock will not fall. Oh no! Oh, I really should have built on the rock. The end. Great story, Kellen. I'm gonna go build a house today on a strong foundation. Okay, but the story really wasn't about building houses. Oh, right, it's about hearing what Jesus says and not just hearing his words, but actually putting them into practice. That's how you build on a strong foundation. Why? Oh, I think you've got it. Thanks, Kellen. Whew. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, later. You know, John, it's a good thing that Hans was here earlier to train me how to listen. Oh, yeah? Hey, you're ready to take another stab at the nose recorder? No, but... Shh. Uh, what are you... If I'm gonna do what God says, first I have to hear him, right? <laughs> right, but I, I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, how does it work? Oh, uh, like this! Reveal the question! Oh, how can you hear from God? Yeah, can you hear God speak to you out loud in a deep, booming voice? Or maybe you hear God when you read the Bible. The Bible has all kinds of wisdom and words from God. Or, or maybe you hear God through a teacher or a friend or through nature. Yeah. Or... I think there are a lot of ways that you can hear from God. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. How can you hear from God? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. This sweet song go, that's how it goes, oh, oh, that sweet no solo, it sounds so sweet, oh.